This is Jeff from Obedia. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the controls at the top of an AAX plugin window. For those of you uh, who've only just started to use Pro Tools, this format used to be known as RTAS. And while the underlying code has changed greatly to support 64 bit compatibility, the controls at the top of the plugin window actually have remained largely the same. So let's go into these now. As you can see, we have three different sections track, preset, and automation. And I'll cover each one of them in this video. So going from top left to right, we'll start with the track section. We got our track selector button, which actually lets you jump between tracks quickly. So if you're on insert A, you wanna hear the EQ on your drums, then jump to the EQ on your bass, and then your guitar, you can do so with this button. Right underneath that, we have the plugin selector button, which actually lets you choose which plugin out of all the available ones you wish to have hosted on a particular track insert, whether it's one EQ or another, or one compressor or another, just to give you a few examples. Then just up and to the right is the insert position selector. So this lets you jump between plugins that happen to be on different inserts of a track. Very useful for working on the relationships between EQ and compression, or EQ and a de -esser, or even just two different EQs on the same track. This button will let you audition your entire signal chain for a particular channel. And now we'll move on to the preset section in the top middle of the window. Just to the right of where it says preset, there's a pop-up button where you can save settings, save as a new preset. You can copy your settings to paste them to another preset, import plugin settings, as well as some other useful functions. Just below that is the librarian menu. And this is where you'll find presets if they happen to be provided with the particular plugin that you're working with. Many Avid plugins come with a lot of presets. Other companies may not come with so many. Just depends on which plugin manufacturer it is. Right below the librarian menu, we have the previous setting and next setting. Fairly self-explanatory. If I just click through, you'll see how I'm simply cycling through the available presets. The double square just to the right of that button is the plugin setting select. And this lets you see all your presets at a glance in order to find the most appropriate preset patch for the instrument you happen to be working on. The last function I'll cover in the preset section is the compare function. This simply lets you compare your original sound that you were working with to a preset that you have since applied and vice versa. Moving on to the automation section, we have a plugin automation enable button where you can choose which particular parameter you want to automate. So in this case, I'm using the EQ low band frequency. I'll add that, hit okay. And then on that track, we now have an automation lane for EQ low frequency. Right below that is the automation safe button. This ensures that you will not be able to accidentally overwrite any automation you've written for this plugin. And finally, the bypass button to quickly audition what your audio is going to sound like with the plugin active or bypassed. Now, the last button we'll talk about is this button in the upper right hand corner that looks like a little red square. This is called the target button. And here's how it works. When lit, notice that I can only have one plugin window open at a time. However, it's quite common to need to have two, three, four, or more simultaneous windows open to be able to compare settings across different guitars, different vocals, etc. So this is how we do it. We simply click off that red button, and now we're able to launch multiple plugin windows simultaneously. As long as we keep turning off the target button, you can instantiate as many different windows as you need. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. This is Jeff from Obedia. Thanks for watching.